Cook on Sunday, eat till Thursday. I'm Allie and you're watching Economy Bites. So I'm from Texas, but one of the things that I really miss is good, authentic Tex-Mex food. So I made up my own recipe for tortilla soup, which is a Tex-Mex classic, amazing, delicious soup. The first thing we need, half a cup of onion. Now I have these nice little pinch bowls, and I'm gonna cut my jalapeno and my garlic into the pinch bowls. I'm gonna use two cloves of garlic. For the record, this big guy is a bulb. These little guys are cloves. Ow. <laughs> Don't do that at home. See, it's very important to be careful. First thing we're gonna do is take off the stem, cut it in half like this. Here's a quick lesson about the jalapeno. The spiciness of the jalapeno actually comes from the spine right here and from the seeds. So if you want like the tart taste of a chili, but you really don't like a ton of spice, just knock out some of those seeds there. You're gonna wanna cut out the spine. That is spicy. I like spiciness, so I'm gonna keep some of the seeds. First memory of a jalapeno is my dad daring my little brother to eat one when Matthew was like maybe six at a grocery store. It's really mean. Matthew was not happy. Wash your hands, because if you accidentally touch your eye, you're gonna be in a world of pain. Turn on high heat. And today we're gonna use some peanut oil. We're gonna get, let it get real hot, and then we're gonna do our onions. Let it get kind of translucent before we add our garlic and our jalapeno. It's just not something you can really get outside of Austin, Dallas, Houston, San Antonio, which if you've never visited, you really should because Texas is truly a special place. That's my little plug for Texas. You can take the Texas out of the girl, but you can't, wait, no. You can take the girl out of Texas, but you can't take the Texas out of the girl. Wait, what'd you say? Oh, do I think we should secede? Um, I mean, I don't live there, I don't care. This soup is also really good because it's hearty. So one big bowl of it with a garnish, it's really like a full meal. The next step is gonna be adding chicken broth and some diced tomatoes. These are tomatoes mixed with mild green chilies. If you can't find those, normal diced tomatoes are good, not stewed. Four cups of chicken broth. That's two. So now for the most important part are spices. Any mix of these Mexican spices is really gonna be fine if you don't wanna go out and buy them all. Um, I would say the real basis spices that you're gonna need are cayenne pepper, crushed red pepper, chili powder, and cumin. These are the main four, along with, of course, salt and pepper. But if you wanna go a little further, bring in a little more ground white pepper. It's gonna use a tiny little pinch if you use any. Paprika, onion powder, some coriander would be good. Really anything you have that's smoky and spicy. And this recipe is a testament to the fact that you really, while you're cooking, you have to taste as you go along. Because especially when you're pouring in things that are spicy and kind of salty and smoky, you really wanna make sure that it's to your likings. It's good. I'm gonna add a little more cumin for the smoke and a little more chili powder for that heat in the back of your throat. This is the best soup for a cold. It will, it will drain everything out of your face. Taste as you go. A little bit at a time, that way you don't put in ever too much. I'm gonna bring it to a full boil and then I'm gonna cover and let it simmer for 15 minutes. So while that's cooking, I'm gonna show you how to make some fresh tortilla strips. It's a lot cheaper to buy corn tortillas. It's made with more natural ingredients. You know what's in it. Before I start cooking, I'm gonna ready a plate with some paper towels. So the paper towels soak up the excess oil. We're gonna use peanut oil again. Put this on high heat. You want it to coat the pan and have like a little extra. You know, you want it to get on top and bottom of the strip. Let that get really hot before we pour, put our strips in. You can see really quickly, they start to turn brighter color. See, right when the edges start to turn brown, that's when you want to flip them. The trick is to try and get them right before they start to toast too much. The first batch is always tough, but then as you get the timing down, salt them up. So I'm gonna make a few more of these while the soup is boiling. Ugh, oh, fuck. So some other great garnishes for this soup. Avocado, cheese, and cilantro. And the taste from cilantro comes from the stock. So when you're chopping up cilantro to use, 
you know, you don't wanna just pick off the leaves, you wanna actually cut and use the stock. I'm gonna use one of my Burger King Star Trek uh, memorabilia cups. <laughs> kind of slice down until I hit the pit. So I hit there and then I'm just gonna run my knife around the pit here. Give it a slice in half here. Run my knife around the rim. Beautiful. What you're looking for is a, a cup and a half of shredded cooked chicken. So either you can buy the stuff at the grocery store that comes in that little package, or if you have some boneless Guinness chicken breasts, you know, cook them in the oven. We've got it on a low heat. I'm just gonna give it five more minutes or so. Lime, very important. I'm just gonna give it a slice down the middle there. I'm gonna toss on some of my homemade chips, some shredded cheese in there. It's gonna melt a little cilantro. Okay, so this is a single serving of soup. Mm. There's nothing more delicious in the world than cheese and avocado and Tex-Mex. It turns out great every time, no matter what you put in it. The best thing to do with your extra soup, put it in Tupperware, plastic bags, put it in the freezer, and then when you're ready to eat it, leave it out for about 20 minutes till it gets a little soppy again. Pour it back in the pot, stir it around, medium heat for a few minutes. It lasts really well. Why go to a crappy New York Mexican restaurant when you can have delicious Tex-Mex at home? Save your money for margaritas. I thought it was undone. Shit. Wave it, wave a thing at it. Or un undo it. Wait, let's pause for a Band-Aid break. <laughs> Sorry.